Today we're going to take a look at my L393 Cheese Creek spawns that I've had most recently and I'm going to give you guys an update and show you all how they're doing. What is up y'all? Just wanted to show you guys a lesson that I just learned. So I've got this little 20 gallon long here and I got an L24 Cactus Pleco in it. And I've got a top on there because he is an expensive Pleco, you know? And uh, I've had him in this tank for quarantine and all week long I've been thinking about moving him because he's been in here for about two months and I just figured it's time to move him into his next tank. And this morning I come in here and I don't see him anywhere. And I look everywhere and he's nowhere to be found. And then I start searching on the floor and I just found him. He's right down there and he's stiff and dead. So this little small area that I've got here to put food in, the top is not disturbed, it's not moved. He just slopped right up out of there and he's gone. So large plecos will jump out of tanks guys. You have to have a completely sealed top. What is up guys? Fast forward a month or so and uh, wanted to give you guys an update on my Cheese Creeks. I have always been feeding them down over here, but since the lighting is more clear on this side, that lid over there is dark. Um, I thought for video purposes I would feed them down here, but only a few of them have found the food. Uh, most of them are down here looking for food because that's where I always feed them at. But the Cheese Creeks are doing really, really good. This is all I have left of uh, the first spawn. I would say there's probably 40 left out of probably I had probably close to 100 in this spawn. Um, these guys, the price is probably rose because most of them are around two inches long. So uh, if you guys want any of these, just give me a shout. Uh, they are healthy. They're getting to the age now where their colors are really starting to really burst. But yeah, they're doing good. Uh, knock on wood, I have still yet to have a loss. Uh, everything is going really, really good. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave them in this 20 gallon long for a while. Um, and then maybe eventually move them into a 40 gallon breeder. I got some different plans for that. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the second spawn right now. All right, here is uh, the second spawn. And as you can see, they're still less than an inch long. So these guys would still be in at the introductory price, the lower price, if you guys were interested. Got somewhere around 40 or so of them in here. I did just get done feeding them and they're really congested there, but uh, there's a couple on the back wall over there that are getting a little bit bigger. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep them separate since the pricing is different. That way, if you guys want some of these, uh, I can grab from this tank. And if you want some of the bigger ones um, that aren't really sexable yet, um, you can get them for the higher price. These ship really, really good. I would say both sizes do. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Mama and Daddy. All right, I don't know if you guys can see under this log here, but my male uh, 393 is right where that dark spot is, right there under that log. Got him separate right now. It was really kind of a pain in the butt. I caught him in his favorite cave right there one night and I had forgot that I was wanting to pull him out. And um, I thought that he was on a clutch of eggs. So I grabbed the cave and kind of spooked him a little bit to allow him to get out. And there was no eggs, of course. And then I was like, oh shoot, I was meaning to pull him out. Uh, because what I like to do with them is I like to uh, really feed the female all by herself and uh, get her real plump and grab it and then put him back in there and that's what I've been doing over the last couple weeks so I'm about ready to go ahead and pull him out and put him in here with the female. Now my tank 
Uh, this has been a really awesome planted 40 gallon breeder for quite some time, but I've been running no light for a couple of months and no fertilizer. And uh, my plants have been uh, dying back. Um, the biggest reason why I've been doing that is this tank has been working really good for spawning all types of bristlenose plecos. And I was trying different things on removing fertilizer to change the water chemistry and removing light to make them feel more comfortable and it's worked, you know, I mean it paid off. Uh, the problem is, is it has caused my planted aquarium to die back. Um, a lot of my good plants that are in here are still alive, they've just died back a little bit. But if you can see, there are some of the baby L393s. Uh, seems like there's like 16 or so of them in here that have made it and uh, I've just went ahead and left them in here to grow up someday I'll pull them out whenever I can tell what sex they are and stuff but mama is in here she stays hidden all the time um, about the only time you see her is if you catch her in the middle of the night eating so that is my update on my L393 cheese crakes if you guys want some give me a shout so what do you guys think? Uh, last month I made that video on my spawn for my L393 Cheese Creeks and uh, the support uh, was overwhelming. I sold a ton of those things but I still have a lot of them left and probably more spawns to come hopefully before the winter here. So if you guys need any L393 Cheese Creeks please give me a shout. Other than that, thanks for coming along on today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, y'all.